Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. It is a beautiful fall day here. You can see the, you know, the trees changing colors. Uh, you can see my beautiful uh, mowing equipment. Uh, needing of a good cleaning, but uh, you know what? No sense cleaning it when you're gonna do a little extra work and you might be asking, wait a minute, um, Sargon, you don't own any fields up here. And the answer is, yes, that is correct. So we are going to take on a series of silage contracts up at the top of the map here. We've been in this area before, so not too much of a surprise, but I will say one of the things that's going to make this possible is the better contracts mod. We are able to take on more than three contracts at the same time. So let's go into uh, our menu here, into the contracts. Got to be careful because there are some like field 13 up here who just wants us to do hay bales and do the tedding. So we don't want that one. But we do want, uh, for example, this one here on field 14. Now, I've kind of had a quick boo and it looks like for the most part, uh, this equipment is all the same. So we're going to ignore field 71, which is a very sweet contract, but I'll show you why here in a second. So we have this one here, you know, some nice equipment. One of the things I do wish is you could click on the equipment to see exactly what it is. But you kind of see here, field 18, same equipment. Field 17, uh, still silage. Looks very similar, but it's got that nice, beautiful black tractor. I do love that color. So that is not silage. This one is silage, same equipment. And here we are at field uh, 14 with the silage. So we're going to borrow this equipment because it is likely the cheapest to borrow at 44 pounds. And now we're going to come in and we're going to take field 17, except field 16 will skip. Field 17 is, is silage. We will accept that. Field 18 is silage. We will accept that. And field 19 is silage. We will accept that. So now if we come up here, you will see all these fields, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, all needing to be converted to silage. So this is going to be a very efficient use. And this is the beauty of the better contracts mod, because otherwise with the base game, you can only take on uh, three contracts at a time. So that is very, very time consuming. If you're trying to do this and take advantage of basically needing all the same equipment across uh, multiple jobs. So what we're going to do is we'll get uh, things started here with our tractor and our mowing equipment. And I'm on the largest field at this point simply because we need to get a bunch of equipment up here and that's going to take a moment. So let's set this off on a worker at this point. Actually, you know what? We're going to jot around the, the headland here now that I think about it. Because we're going to be a little cheeky. Um, and as you can see, we can grab some of the silage on the side. Ooh. Um, you know what? When we went past the uh, workshop, <laughs> or the shop, I should say, man, look at all that smoke coming off of our equipment. That is not good looking. Oh my goodness. Um, so it definitely looks like uh, it's either the tractor or the equipment or sadly enough both uh, that might need the maintenance. And you can see the maintenance gauge all the way down to the bottom, which is probably why we're seeing all this black smoke just spewing just absolutely looking horrendous oh my goodness <laughs> okay so on our way back to the farm uh we'll take care of this we will take care of making sure all this equipment is in good repair should have done it on the way here because obviously we did pass the store but well 
We didn't, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's... That, that one's on me. Uh, hopefully things uh, don't blow up and turn into a big fireball. That would be... That would be bad. I don't think that's possible in Farming Simulator 2022. Um, okay, so with that, we will come up along here. We'll turn on the worker and let's get all of our equipment up to this area. So with that, we are going to swap around our tractors here. We will use the contracted tractor, which looks uh, pretty sweet. I must admit, uh, I love the, the black and the green goes with it. Um, I'm, I was about to say, I'm not a huge fan of the green. And as I check out my John Deere, the classic John Deere. Okay, so let's see how fast we can get these guys going. Oh, you know what? It looks like uh, it's not just the tractor. It is the mowing equipment itself that is having issues. Look at that black smoke, baby. Ah, oh boy. So yeah, what you can see between the, the <laughs> yeah, the smoke that we were having yeah, so this contract tractor should be in 100% condition. Uh, I did not hit anything on the way here. Uh, pretty confident of that. Uh, but you can see the maintenance bar is down a tad. So what we will do is also have a look at our tractor uh, that we were using without any equipment. And we'll be able to easily see at that point know was it or how much of the tractor is causing this but we have gained four fifty well four or five kilometers per hour going up the hill compared to the John Deere so that's nice at least makes things go a tad faster you know it's it is important to be efficient so I think what we're gonna do is we're going to hop into a quick time lapse, get this field cut, and we will also get the wind rower on the go. As you can see, uh, the tractor is definitely not doing too, too well. So I have a lot of equipment that needs maintenance and that's going to cost a pretty penny, that is for sure. Oh, we need to turn on automatic drop. That would help. Stay a little buddy. Stay. There you go. However, the tractor is, while well, we're going downhill, so it's having an easy time, that is for sure. Who is not having an easy time right now is our wind rower. Def okay, definitely need to rethink that up and down there. Need to do every other row. I think that's going to be the easiest with the turn radius that I currently have. So I picked these five contracts over field 71 from a length of time perspective. These should be much quicker and faster. A lot less effort for, for these. Well, be a lot less effort if our 
Rickers would actually finish the job. So I guess we'll just have to do some of this ourselves here. But you can see how small this field is. It is lickety split barba click, man. It, it is super, super fast. For the here and now, we need a better baler and definitely a bale wrapper. Because silage is where the sweet, sweet green is at, both figuratively and literally. See there, miss that a little bit. We'll just back that baby up a bit. Let me just get a little more of that. Definitely don't need it for the contract. It's more of, I want that for our piggy bank. Any little bit extra accounts and will help. As you can see here, this is a big swath that was missed. So we will just come around, take care of that. And now all we need to do is come along here and we'll be cheeky along the edge, grab a little bit of that as we miss just a tad. There we go. The, like I say, you can see over here, nice farmyard, love it. Now, if I was to restart on Elm Creek, definitely one to consider over the default start point that I took. So what we can do is we need to get this over to field 19. We'll just bomb it. And we're right up upon field 19. This time we will look both ways before crossing the road. You can see our one worker appears to be done. Finishing off the wind rowing. Yep, just completed their task. Good job, my man. Very much appreciate it. So just sometimes, and I think that's why it's typically good to go around the headland. It does help, but I'm a little surprised that the worker had a little problem with the mowing. Not experienced that before, but you know, is what it is. Now, what you can see here too, and as we'll zip in here to a time lapse momentarily, I did bring up our trailer. That is an auto load trailer, mod it. But I did bring up the front loader with the bail spike. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it. Well, we're gonna try to do it, at least partially on camera. These should be better bales. Now, they're not the square bales or rectangular bales, which I would prefer, but it is what it is. So let's finish off this and get on to the wind roaring and bailing. I did take a quick little break from doing the baling, so I could go grab the bale wrapper. So this combination can only do up to 150 centimeter uh, bales, which is unfortunate. Uh, definitely would love the bigger one. Uh, I'm not sure I could have looked, well I can still look, but it's not going to change things now. Uh, if I did accept the contract for Field 71, that typically has the larger equipment. Even though I did accept all five of these contracts at once, 
they're all considered s small fields, so the suggested equipment that would come with it, it you know, is the small field equipment, so which includes balers and bale wrappers that are definitely on the uh, small side. So, but we have our Marshmallow Brigade underway. This is our largest and biggest field. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop around and we're gonna get this to the point where we can get the follow me up and running again so that we can be as efficient as we can be. So that's one thing with the FS22 workers. There are certain things they just cannot do, and this is one of them. However, with the thanks to uh, the follow me mod that is available, you can set uh, your farmers uh, helpers to uh, follow a certain track. And as long as the equipment is turned on and properly set, whoop, it will do its thing. So if we come up here, to this tractor, I believe it is right control F. So it's gonna do a follow me. I'm gonna turn on the help. So we are going to do, I believe it's negative 2.5 on the side offset. So let's see if this will do its thing. And we see the tractor with the baler come around, grabs the bale, wraps it. And I took a nice wide berth to avoid the other uh, bale that's there. So we should be fine with this. This should do its thing. And as you can see, it is working quite well. So you just have to, depending on what you're doing in the equipment, play with the offsets. They will do their thing. You want to make sure there's enough distance. You don't want them literally doing rubbernecking because that isn't going to work out too well either. So everything should be working fine now. So we're going to zip along and get this all done. So there are some bits and bobs left on the field that we will have to collect. I will go around and basically collect these off camera. But we do now need to get to finishing some other work. Like we need to get the wind rower on this field. That's the last one that's going to need it. Uh, we have these fields up here that have been uh, wind rowed. So we're good to go. Oh, it looks like our baler missed, uh, our bale wrapper missed one. And there's also uh, an opportunity for us to come around with the wind rower for where we've been a little cheeky on the edges to try to bring that into the field boundaries so the game does recognize that that uh, grass is ours because it is ours. We cut it. He cuts it, it's ours. So, and it'll grow back, right? It's it's kind of like hair will eventually grow back. Um, you know, somebody might notice the fact that, hey, wait a minute, who cut my grass? 
see here outside the field boundaries, but there's a bunch right along the track. And what I found is if you're between two fields under contract, like we'll see up here, let's go, we'll, we'll test that here in a second, that it does recognize that as part of your boundary. So this is still good. We're just on the edge, we're fine. So that, see, outside the boundary, we'll have to see if we can pull that in. We actually got most of that, which is good. So this is the great thing about just taking your time, using the equipment to your advantage to play within the game dynamics. Now, I'm sure in real life that's not going to go over too well, but it is grass, right? It's, you know, it's not like I took just, you know, derby that one back. It's not as if we went in and cut so many sunflowers down and said, well, there are ours now, finders keepers. No. Um, out of any crop, you would have to, in general, assume grass would be the one that you'd get some leeway on, especially on the outer boundaries like this. Like, the city's not going to be too uh, displeased. Oh, how dare you, sir, take care of our property and make it nice and neat and get rid of the weeds. How dare you? Um... Oh, went a little farther. So I don't I don't think that would actually happen in, in real life. Uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, maybe a neighbor might get upset because you go, wait a minute, that's not how I maintain my lawn. But uh, the city, the county, whatever, probably is not going to be too displeased uh, with you for doing some lawn maintenance, which is basically all that we're doing, right? Just a tad bit of lawn maintenance. So with that, uh, we'll just finish uh, things up here and we'll see you back momentarily. I'm going to give myself the best chance of success. As you know, my skills on this are extremely low. Oh, okay, there's I think our 19%, by the way. So we are gonna come up here to the flattest part of this map to get our uh, skill sets uh, going. Yeah, there's some, I, you know, I think there's 19% floating around this farm. We'll find it. If need be, we have the equipment for it. Okay, so we have one. Oh. So this might be a talent. I know this is possible. All hail the silage bales. Hmm. So we have some bit of success. How to get the help menu back open there. See if it was a help or not. Okay, let's back that. Oh, no, sir, come with me. Thank you. Uh, 
to stay. All right, we got two on. These are all the bales from the top fields. Oh, one or two bales might have made its way over to the field 19. And uh, I think you can appreciate. Um, oop. That uh, these were placed manually. Let's just make sure all nice and secure. We are now secure. So we'll take this load down to uh, the sell point or the delivery point and see how well this does for us. And then uh, we'll be back. Well, let's let's get down to the sell point, delivery point, and see how we're doing. Now you can see attach the trailer. We're good. Actually, let's have a look. See where, oh, where are we supposed to go? Uh, that is animal dealer, biogas plant, animal dealer, biogas plant, biogas plant. Okay, so since most of these need to go to the biogas plant, why, oh, why we cannot all go to the same spot? Nonetheless. We have a few trips to make anyways, so let's get uh, let's get to this next uh, drop off point. Before we officially deliver these 55,000 liters, we'll pop in, look at our contracts here. Uh, so this is to the biogas plant. They need 20,300 uh, liters, which looks to be six bales. Is that giving me that information? No, that can't be it. Well, it could be. Maybe. So we've got two to go to the animal dealers. So it looks like we will finish two of these contracts. Let's take off the straps. Drive into our delivery point here. So yeah, we finished uh, field 15 and 18 and 2% of transportation for field 19. Yeah, so field 19 says it needs five bales. So let's, let's test that. Looks like we need, we've delivered 500 to go. I'm pretty sure there's been an update to this. I don't recall seeing this information before. So this is nice. So, and that will make it easy when we go to the animal dealer in that case, where we only need four bales, and then we know what is ours. So let's get five bales on here and get down to see if we can complete this particular contract. We have now collected all of the bales. So I have 11,000 on the spikes and my professionally neatly stacked trailer. No, no, we don't wanna, there we go. We wanna attach you, sir. Unfortunately, it's... whoa, sir, go ahead. I insist. So let's test this. I'm gonna come into our contracts. I believe it is 19. It is calling for five more bales. 19,700 bales to go. So if we come in here. Well, that doesn't make total sense. We're down to three. Oh, probably in a why is, uh, let's, hmm, no. Reason why I say I'm confused on this, let's maybe take these two here. So if we look, and we sold extra. So let's go back and look at the deets. 
Maybe the default bales is 125 centimeters and not the 150 I used. So something to keep in mind. Yeah, because each of these bales is 5,500 liters. And I think the smaller ones are 4,500. So maybe that's why it's calling for two. So for field 17, we will definitely need two because 5,500 and 5,000. So um, it looks like a total of three bales will be needed. There we go. One bale off. Now in real life, poking a marshmallow is a lot easier. All right, let's just uh, get this one over. You can tell I should be 100% trusted with heavy machinery. Yeah, let's just uh, maybe just pick this one up, walk it over. Build 14 is now done too. So we should all be nice and good. Let's have a look. All those contracts are done. Let's see if we can see on our stats. We produced a total of 34 bales. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So let's get our bounty back to the farm. I think we will unload and put the bales where we did last time. There we go. Beauty. Love it. So the simple reason why we took those silage contracts, quick, easy money, because uh, we need the money to make, uh, to buy our own, uh, well, the rest of our mowing equipment and things to expand. So we have our brand new grass field that we did last time. It is growing. Probably needs a little love, but that is fine. So let's pop in and collect on our contracts. So we are gonna make a pretty penny just from ex collecting from here. So let's see, what are we at? We are at $33,000. We got a little extra money from the extra silage we sold when we were delivering. So let's see. Collect, 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 collect. Boom. We're up nearly $70,000. Wowzers. So that is some good, sweet, sweet income. So if we can do the, the simple math, call it 70 from 32. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's $38,000 we've made just from collecting on the contracts, which if you look, that is $26,000 from collecting on the contracts. So profit per minute, you know, even look up here. Ooh, those are those look pretty good too, right? So Maybe we'll start the next episode up there because we did leave our poor, poor, busted equipment up here. Uh, yeah, that uh, that John Deere is not doing well, nor is that mowing equipment. But you know what? It might be a quick and easy way to start because it's basically, what is it? This field here and that field there just in to tet it and uh, collect on it. You know what? That might be a great way to start uh, next episode, but uh, you'll have to uh, tune in to find out. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button. Very much appreciate it. Helps feed the YouTube algorithm. But with that, I very much appreciate you watching to this point. And until next time, bye for now.